This is Mark O'Neill from StructureFishing.com. Uh, we're going to do a series of videos featuring the Illumicraft Competitor 205 Tiller. Uh, when I got this boat, there was really not a lot of information available as far as the rigging of this boat, uh, namely with power and where do you put your batteries and chargers and all that. So we're going to do a series of videos featuring the power distribution, the electronics, charging systems, batteries, and um, what I found to be the best way to configure the Lumacraft 205 competitor tiller. Okay, so we're going to go through some of the Lumacraft competitor 205 tiller. Uh, this has a Mercury 154 stroke on it uh, with hydraulic assist steering. With that system, you need power. So. In this compartment right here is where we put the actual mercury hydraulic system, uh, the column on the, the compartment on the right. There are two batteries back here, one a house battery, the rear one, which is a D31N Optima, and then I have a D34M, which is my starting battery. Um, that's a nice battery because it's actually a little smaller and I could easily get both batteries in there. In this compartment here, I have a dual, um, dual pro charger. Moving over to the main console of the boat, um, I have this rigged up where my units are on the outside. I, what I elected to do was fill the inside here with 3D hubs, sonar hubs, that type of thing. I, got, I store my AquaView in here. Um, in addition, I actually put a separate power strip power circuit you know circuit board fuse panel that I all my electronics are running off of that is run from a direct line uh, heavy gauge wire from my um, house battery with a 30 amp fuse on it uh, it's important to put the fuse before as close to the battery as possible um, that way if there's an issue it'll actually shut down the system as far as my power distribution for my trolling motor, um, I have three D31M Optima batteries underneath this compartment here. Um, I can show a picture later. Um, it's easy to get out, but then I got to deal with all the rods. So what I have here is a three bank dual pro charger uh, to, to charge those. I also installed a charger cable that is joined to the other charger so that when I plug that in it actually charges both sets of um, all the batteries charge at the same time up front I have an XI5 36 volt um, great trolling motor um, have never even come close to draining the power uh, with these 36 volt systems 